Right, in this video I'm just going to show you quickly how to draw static text. So that's text that doesn't change. Okay, so you only need to draw it once. Okay, when you're using the text system, um, there are a load of built-in fonts. You can create your own, um, but it is time consuming. Um, so if you go to the Unit 17 section of the intranet, and you scroll down until we get to the font names um, link, that will show you the fonts that I've, I've defined effectively. Okay, so those names on the right are the names that will come up uh, in the engine when you're using the font bank. Okay, right, so I'm gonna the example I'm gonna give is just put um, some message on screen that's gonna stay on screen while the game's playing. Okay, so I'm in my game container and I'm just gonna say gm.textmanager because that's what's responsible for drawing and I'm gonna draw as sprites. So this draws once and then just stays on the screen. Don't have to mess about with it. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is pick a font. So we say gm.fontbank then you get your list of fonts. So I'm gonna use uh, it doesn't matter what Robotron font. Then I'm gonna put what text I want, and the text goes in double quotes. So I'm gonna say um, game on. Uh, I'll just leave it as that. Then I pick a, an X location. So how far across the screen do I want it? So I'm just gonna say center of the screen. I'm gonna put this in the center. Center dot X. Then I want a Y value, so I'm going to again put screen size dot center dot Y. Then I'm going to have an attribute, and I'm going to use the basic ones. So I'm going to say text at dot centered. So that uses the X and Y position and centers it on the screen. The Z position, I'm just going to put a thousand. And then for sprite attributes, I'm going to put nil. So this is simple stuff. There are more complicated things you can do. Okay, so text manager, draw a sprite, pick a font, pick the text you want to display, um, say where you want to put it, the X and Y, how you want it to appear, what alignment effectively for that basic thing, Z value, just so it draws in front of the things, and then just put null at the end. So if we run that, and there you go, it's in the center of the screen. Now, if you want to mess about with the scale, then what you need to create is a text attribute. So I'll just create a text attribute here. So this is uh, I'll put TA this so a new text attribute. Now, text attributes have got basic properties like scale. So I'm going to make this bigger. Kerning is the space between each character and pixels. I'm going to make that two. I'm going to say color dot red. Um, I can carry on and set my alignment, so I want it centered still, so I'm going to say center. Okay, now that I've got that, I can use that in place of this. So I can say TA this, and you'll see the effect of that. Okay, so it's bigger and it's red. Now, <coughs> by default, when you're doing these, they're, if I just, this is a scrolling map. Um, demo. So as I scroll my map around, not that you can see the map, but as I scroll it around, the text stays in the center of the screen. Now I can mess about with the attribute, uh, ignoring the angle bit, but if I say wheel coordinates, you'll see the difference. So I'm setting that to true for my attribute. So as I scroll my map, so game on isn't in the center of the screen it's just been sat at a fixed position okay so you can use this to generate text that appears in your game if you want to put little messages on the screen that you see when you're at a certain part of a map but it stays you draw it once and it's fixed so anything where you just want to draw it once so if you've got the top of the screen high score or score something like that and then just leave it okay so it's Text manager, drawer sprites, font, text, location, text attribute that you want to use, and so on. If you want to um, print other information out, I'll show that in a different video. 
because that has to be dynamic text. So this is just static text. 